only one thing. Hippos. Now, I don't want to startle anyone, but we actually lost six boats to the hippos this past week. Luckily, though, only five were mine. So we should be perfectly fine. There's nothing to worry about. Don't look over here, friends. There's just some water. Now, you know what, friends? A lot of these are the hippos may try your targets, but you know what? I can stop them. Yeah, I'll just use the same tactics I used in my last act. I heard that they're afraid of commitment. I love you! <laughs>
I could do that too. So friends, over here we do have Mark. Wow. Oh, and Steve. Wow. There's Cheryl. Wow. Oh, do you guys want me to scientifically name them? I mean, I can do that too. I am a botanist. Okay, so um, all the way up in the tree, you see the canopy of the forest. Friends, those are what we would call a high biscuit. Now, if you look, now, now if you look right here at the forest floor near the ground, so those are what we would call a uh, low biscuit. Now, looking in the water, so these ones are what we do call a sea biscuit. And if you do see any plants coming out of my pockets, well, that's none of your biscuits. <laughs> Just forget I said that last, that last little part there. Oh my gosh, friends, what do we have up ahead? Okay, so from back here, the sign reads, lost and found. Okay, sorry, friends. I don't know how to read. I don't know. I think it's, I think it's the gift shop or something. But you know what? On a completely unrelated note, if you did lose anything on our adventure, well, more than likely, you can find it over here. Now, friends, this gift shop does remind me about something. Oh yeah, that we are nearing the most dangerous portion of our adventure so far. Which is a return to civilization. So please remain seated, keeping all hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat. Parents, stay watch those kids because guess what? I don't have any. I don't want any. And I do not get eaten up to watch any here. Now, friends, you know what? We have been through a lot. We really have. You know what? We have laughed together. Cried together. I mean, at least I cried. You were all there. We also very nearly died together several, several times. And you know what? I do think that that was coming to family. I really do. But you know what's been intense? Maybe 15 minutes with my own family. Well, you know what? That's just far too much. It really is. So, but you know what? Even though, even though you guys have been pretty outstanding today here in this jungle, I think the only way we can make it any better is that you were all outstanding up there on that job. Now, you know what? Out of all my crew today, you guys have definitely been three Well, the most recent. And I, no, no, I'm kidding, but you guys have been one of the best. Yeah, and I mean that every time I say it, which is only every time. But I mean it this time, I really do, friends. But you know what? Just a couple of rules once you do get up to that dog. So do not cross over any of these center crates. I know it looks very tempting, but you know what? It just wouldn't be a very great idea. It wouldn't be very great at all. In fact, it is a fire hazard because you will trip, you will fall, and then I will point, laugh, and then get fired. <laughs> so please don't give me fire friends. I can't lose this job. Again, you know what? It's going to be the third time this week, and this is awkward for me. <laughs> no, friends, you know what? I do want to let you all in on a little secret since we have it so close, just like family. It's something my own family told me when I turned 18. They sat me down, they said, Happy birthday, Skipper Jared. Then, you know, just said at the table, they said, but honey, you know what? You just don't live here anymore. You can't so pack up all those personal belongings. Don't leave anything on the floor or on the side. Because you know what? That free ride that we gave you, well, it's now over. So really, the only thing left to say is, 